Hello and welcome back. So this is the last lecture of this course. And in this lecture, we are going to deploy our real-time chat application in a production environment using a hosting service called Renderer. Render is a cloud platform that simplifies the deployment and management of web applications and services. And it offers a range of features. And we will see that in a bit. Now, in order to deploy our application to Renderer, the first thing which we need to do is we need to push all our changes to GitHub. So here, as you can see, I have created this client folder where I have the code related to our React application. There you will also see we have this build folder, which is storing the bundled JavaScript code of our React application. And if I go to server folder, there we have code related to our Node.js application. Okay, so I have already pushed the code of our backend and frontend application to GitHub. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create an account in render and we are going to create that account using our GitHub credential. And in that way, we will connect render to our GitHub repo. And then from render, we are going to deploy our client application and our server application. So let me show you how we can do that. Let's go to Google. There, let's search for render. So you will see this render.com. Just click on this link. Okay, and click on dashboard. Now here I'm already logged in using my GitHub account. But if you are not logged in, you will have to log in. Once you are logged in, from here you can deploy your application and these are the type of applications which you can deploy you can deploy a web service a static website private services background workers etc here in order to deploy our react application we are going to use this service static sites and in order to deploy our node application we are going to use this service called web services so let's go ahead and let's first deploy our node application. For that, I'm going to click on this new web service. And in here, we need to search the repo where we have our application. So we have our Node.js application in this quick chat app repo. Let's select that repo and let's click on this connect button. So renderer will connect to our GitHub repo to this quick chat app repo. Now here we can give a unique name for our web service. I'm going to call it as quick chat app server. Okay. Then here, if I scroll down. Now here we need to specify the root directory where our backend code is present. And in our case, our backend code is present in this server folder. So here we need to specify that should be server not client because our node.js application is present in the server folder in this quick chat app repo right then here in this build command we are going to provide npm install because while building the application it has to install all the dependent packages from the npm by utilizing the package.json file then only the application will be able to build, right? And then we also need to specify the start command. And for the start command, we can specify node server.js because the server.js is our main application, which we want to run whenever our node application starts. Then if I scroll down here, let's select this free option. Okay. And if I scroll down some more, now what we need to do is we also need to specify the environment variables which we are using in our node application. So for the environment variables, what we will do is we will go to our node application. There we have this config.env file. From there, let's copy all the environment variables which we have here. Let's go back and there let's click on this add from .env. Let's specify our environment variables there and let's click on this add variable. Now if I scroll down, we have this option deploy web services so let's click on this button to start deploying our node app application as a web service so if i scroll down here in the console you can see 
the logs of the deployment process so it has started deploying our application and if there is any error which occurs while deployment you can see that error here or you can see other messages for all the steps which is currently going on so currently our build is being uploaded now it is deploying our application build is successful so now it is deploying our node application and now you can see deployment is complete the application the node application it is running it is running on port number 5000 and if i scroll up here we have the link for our backend application so if i go ahead and if i copy this let me open a new tab let's specify it here and let's say slash api slash users slash if i press enter it says cannot get api users get all users that's because this route this endpoint it can only be accessed by an authenticated user but here as you can see when i am providing this api endpoint it is not giving us any error saying that the endpoint does not exist or the resource does not exist so that means our endpoints are working as expected they are running on the server so now what we need to do is now we need to use this url where our backend application is running let's go to our front end application and there let's go to index.js and here let's replace this url with the actual url where our application is running okay and then in the home page also here where we are using this socket io there also let's replace that url and let's go ahead and let's build our application so let me save the changes here as well as in this file let's go to the terminal where the react application is running let me press ctrl c and again let's go ahead and let's build our react application so for that we can say npm run build it is going to rebuild our react application with the latest changes which we have done so the application has been built and the bundles has been generated now what we need to do is we need to push these changes again to github so let's go back and in the client folder i'm going to push the changes again so i have already pushed the changes let's quickly verify it let's go to the source folder in there let's first go to api calls and in there let's go to index.js and you can see that there the url has changed to the production url where our node application is running then if i go to pages and there if i go to home folder and in there if you go to index.js there for the socket io also the url has changed the url for our backend application has changed okay so now what we are going to do is now we are going to deploy our front-end application and to deploy our react application again we are going to click on this new button and this time we want to create a static site here also we are going to connect this repository so let's click on this connect button after selecting that repository quick chat tab now let's call this client app as quick chat app client okay then if i scroll down we need to provide this root directory in this case for the react application the root directory is this client folder so this client folder is storing the react code right so this will be the root directory in this case so let's go ahead and let's specify that it should be client then we also need to provide the build command so before we build our react application first we need to install all the required packages from npm so for that the first command will be npm install and after all the packages have been installed we also want to build our react application for that the command will be npm run build that's what we have learned right we build our react application using npm run build all right then here we also need to specify the publish directory for the publish directory i am going to specify dot slash build so it should be dot slash build in the build folder when the application will be built in this build folder all the generated bundled files 
the images and other things will be created. Now if I scroll down, for our React application, we don't have any environment variable, so I'm not going to add it. Now let's click on this deploy static site. And again, the deployment process has started. As you can see, let's wait for this deployment to complete. And if any error will occur, you can see that error in this log messages. And based on that, you can go ahead and do the changes in order to rectify that error. But hopefully there will be no error in our code. So let's wait for this build to complete. And the installation is complete and you can see that we have this message, your site is live. Now, if you want to visit the site, this is the link for our front end application using which we can visit the application. So let me paste that link here. And now you can see that we are in the login page of our application. So our application is now live and anyone who has this link, he can access this application and he can create his account from this sign up page. And once the account is created, he can go ahead and he can log in using this login page into our application. And then he can start a chat with the existing users and so on. So let me go ahead and let me try to log in a user, John Smith at gmail.com. And let's also specify the password for this user. If I click on this login button, you see the user is logged in and you will see these errors sometimes, but these errors are not something because of our mistake. It is the behavior of render. Sometimes it happens. So you see now when I'm trying to start the login page, that is also not happening now. So again, what we can do is we can copy this path and we can paste it here. So there is some network error which is happening currently, but as you can see, our application is deployed and we were successfully able to log into our application. And after that, some network error happened. And because of that, now I'm not able to connect here again, but our application is deployed. And if you want, you can go to this URL and you can test it from your side. Okay. So this is all from this lecture and from this course. I hope you enjoyed this course and you liked it and you learned something new from this course. This was a very simple chat application which I have created in this course just to get started and just to understand, just to get the feel of how a real-time chat application is actually created. Now, if you like this course and if you want me to create one more course like this where we will have all the features of the modern chat applications like video calling, file sharing, group chats, group calls, etc then please let me know in the comments. If I get at least 10,000 comments for asking for such course, then I'll surely go ahead and I'll create one project course for a fully fleshed chat application like Microsoft Teams or WhatsApp. Thank you for watching this course. And if you like this course, then please share this course with your friends and family. And also please subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever I release a new course.